Wake up. Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Get up. <sighs> the graveyard is so peaceful. Unless you wake up in one, then the possibilities are endless. Stranger yet is leaving the graveyard with no recollection what happened before this moment. One thing I do know is I can't go to the village. No idea how they would react if they found out. I think the best thing we can do at this point is just find a spot to rest for the night and then we can collect ourselves in the morning. Is that? What is that? Looks like a campsite. Anyone around? I don't see anyone. Maybe I just wait for a second? Now let me watch this for a second. Let's see if anyone shows up. This could be ideal if if no one shows up. The campfire's fresh. It's still on, so maybe there is someone around. Mm, that sounds pretty bad. I may need to just go for this. I've been watching the campsite for a little bit and I haven't seen anyone. It's, it's strange that the fire is lit, but still haven't seen anyone in a while. Such a quiet night as well. I need to take this risk though. We really need to get rid of the night, so I'm gonna take the risk. I'm just gonna go and grab this tent. And this campfire is so nice. It's just so strange that no one else is around. With the weather on its way, I really have no choice. It's either this or a cave, and I don't really trust the cave at this moment. Clueless of what had just happened to me, the people from the village were busy making some upgrades. The first thing on their agenda was to build some new roads for the village. If they were to ever attract traders or any new residents, they would have to have a proper infrastructure and a well-designed pathway stretching throughout the town is a great start. The fleshy feeling path blocks connect up all of their houses and buildings. Strange symmetrically manicured grass surrounds their pathways and hanging lanterns light the way. <sighs> I'm so lucky the rain didn't come last night. But I do have a new problem. It's early morning. I'm quite hungry. I need to figure out some food. I did find some tools in this tent, so we are okay with that. I saw a river that's back this way. It's a little bit close to the village, but I'm sure we can avoid them. Uh, let's see if we can see some fish. Get something to eat. It's pretty strange how the fish didn't swim away from me. But I'm not complaining, this is gonna be good. I do also realize that I can't stay in this campsite forever. I keep making smoke like this, someone will maybe pass by and see me. Also, if the weather actually picks up, it's, it's gonna be pretty terrible. For now, I'll just eat this fish and I need to have a look around. Maybe think of a permanent location to settle. Not too sure. At least we have one fish left, so that should keep us a little bit. We should make it through this day. Time to see what goes on around us. Go over the hill. Look around. We've got a cave over here. Does it extend far? A quick peek in the cave. I'm kind of a little bit scared of the caves. What is this? Oh, this is coal. We can definitely grab some coal. I think that's a problem. I should probably figure out a way to get better tools as well. 
The stone blocks around us should help us make better tools. Grab a little bit of this. I do, however, need to rather peek around because I don't know how dangerous the wild is. It looks like a little bit of a scarier cave. Maybe there's valuable resources in caves. I will have to muster up courage to go check that out. Wildlife. We can possibly collect some of the animals to make food, but it all depends on how long we're going to be stuck in the wild. I think the big thing is I just need to muster up the courage to even go back to the town to speak to someone. Maybe I need to find a little cabin or a tavern or something that's further away from town and just chat to someone and just kind of see how they react. I'm just nervous. I don't know how long I was missing. I don't know how people will react. There's not too much around us, though. There is a nice flat space over there, so... If I were to settle somewhere, I should go further away from town, but not too far. Because the other question is, is, is there anything wrong with me? Why did I actually wake up in that graveyard? But more importantly, how did I end up there? Let me upgrade my tools. Wait. Looks like someone's back at the camp. They look dangerous. Let's get out of here. Not quite sure where to go, but I think down below be the safest. So they won't they won't follow me into the darkness, right? Let's just let's head down here. <sighs>